Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about how to scan the external environment using a tool called Pestle Analysis. And uh, let me grab my pen here, and um, we'll get started. And I'm going to label this up here Pestle, P E S T E L analysis I'm sorry it's getting away from me a little bit but we'll get it straight there we go and what we want to do is select the color one more time here and this is going to be the organization So we're going to label it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have six sets of different kinds of factors that affect the organization. So i got to make six rungs here. There's two. There's three. four and five and six okay so let me grab a new color and we'll start with the first one we'll make that a red and the P in pestle stands for political that's our political environment okay so I'm going to put the factors that affect the political environment over here Okay, and the first one is, how stable is the political environment? So the first one is stability. Another one is, what is the tax and regulatory environment like? So we have taxation and regulations. And the last of these is trade regulation. So if you wanted to do business abroad, do you have uh, trade agreements like NAFTA and those type of trade agreements that affects the organization? And if so, how do they affect this? Okay, so that's our political ones. We'll grab another color and we'll go to the next one. Let's grab a yellow here. So the next one is economic. And we'll put those over here. Economic. And some of the things that affect us um, are inflation, interest rates, So we want to figure out what those rates are. We also have unemployment rates and how that affects available labor. And we also have the impact of any social welfare policies. I'm sorry about my writing. It's not that great, but it's hard to write that small on a screen. So we'll do the best we can. So let's grab another color. Let's grab a green this time. And the next letter is S in pestle. So we're going to put sociocultural here. 
doesn't look like a very good green but we'll use it anyway Okay, and we'll list those out over here. Socio, socio, cultural. So, what are some of the factors we have under socio culture? We have different kinds of lifestyles. We have demographics. What's what's the makeup of the demographics? Um, education and income levels is another one. We also have any uh, religious and consumer attitudes. And we have any social policies. And any work and leisure activities. Work and leisure. Okay, we'll grab another color. We'll go on to the next one. Uh, let's grab an orange this time. And the next letter in our acronym is T for technological so we'll start out over here tech no logical okay and we'll list them over here so we, here we have technological. Okay, so what are some of these factors? Okay, we have, um, for example, government research funding. I gotta get my pen back. What happened to my pen? Here we go. Government research funding. Okay, another one could be um, what is the level of focus or interest level of government? Let's call it focus level. in technology and what is the maturity level in the industry as far as the use of technology um, we also would have intellectual proper property issues And if there's any disruptive technology in the industry, this should be disruptive. Excuse my handwriting. Okay, 
Okay, so that takes care of our technological. And the next letter is E again. So let's use this one over here this time. Which is environmental. And we'll list those out over here, environmental. Okay, so what are some of the issues here? Some of them could be more local. Others could have to do with the industry. Um, we could have a influence by NGOs and for those who don't know what that is that's a non-governmental organization um, that can affect um, the environmental laws um, we also have environmental protection laws environmental I'll have to abbreviate because I'm running out of room. And the last one is any uh, regs on uh, waste and disposal. And I hope you can read that tried to squeeze it in as best I can um, and we're going to do one more grab one more color here let's see what we haven't used uh, let's try this one right here okay so the next or the last one is legal and that'll fit in here Okay, so what are some of the factors that we have to deal with here? We have anything that has to do with monopoly regulation. We have, um, and we said this before under technology, intellectual property protection. So I'm abbreviating it. We have... Uh, consumer laws I think we mentioned that before as well and finally we have employment health and safety laws And that's it. So if we wanted to analyze our external environment, we'd have to consider these factors and write out anything that affects the organization. And we would then have a good analysis of how the uh, external environment affects us. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next slide.